Hey guys, Mystery Wheel Gunner back here with you again. I just wanted to share with you the results of my little, little project gun here. I've always wanted a little project gun that I could enjoy straight out of the box and just shoot for a while and plink around with, but also be able to upgrade it over time. Most people choose something like a Ruger 1022 for a project gun, well, project rifle in that case, but you know what I mean. Just a, a firearm you can do some easy upgrades on without having any gunsmithing skills. You know, bolt-on upgrades. Anyway, I, I chose the Smith & Wesson Victory. Uh, let's go ahead and do the obligatory safety check here. Magazine is empty. And the chamber is empty. Okay, so let's go over the stock version of this, obviously. This is the already upgraded version with all the stuff I bought over time. The stock version is uh, the Smith & Wesson Victory SKU108490. I make mention of that because uh, ever since uh, that SKU came out, Smith & Wesson has added several other variants of the uh, the Victory. Anyway, the stock version comes with a 5.5 inch barrel. And that's this right here. It is all stainless steel and they call it the bull barrel. And boy, they're not kidding. Look at that. This is a really stout piece of uh, steel right here. This is This is pretty heavy, pretty substantial. It's got a green fiber optic front sight right from the factory. I thought that was pretty neat. It also comes stock with this uh, rear sight assembly. You have to take this whole thing off if you want if you want to put the rail on it. So the rail and the click adjustable rear sight cannot coexist. It's gonna be one or the other. Anyway. From the factory, the fully click adjustable rear sight. Hopefully, hopefully this is this is focusing okay for you. You can see it's got the green fiber optic right there, right from the factory. So I, I thought that was pretty neat. You know, factory gun to come with the uh, the high vis type sights. That's pretty neat. Well, let's get these out of the way. Uh. It has a uh, slide or bolt catch and release right here, and a 1911 style safety. So up is safe and down is fire. It's got the push button mag release here. It is not ambidextrous, so the, the slide slash bolt stop is not mirrored on this side. No safety on this side and no mag release on this side either. Okay, so let's get on to the upgrades. The barrel is the tandem cross. They call it their eye flute barrel, probably because of these, you know, I as in letter I shaped uh, flutes on here to help, pro probably to help lighten the barrel. It's uh. Uh, with the compensator installed, it's a seven and a half inch barrel. It's all stainless steel, uh, polished. But the flutes are kind of a kind of a matte finish. Gives it a pretty nice bit of detail. You know that contrast there between the uh, the polished parts here versus the uh, the matte finish on the flutes. Gives it a really nice look, in my opinion. This comp is removable, believe it or not. I know, hard to believe, right? You can barely tell the seam. And I'll prove to you this comp is removable. There, see that? Yeah. <laughs> it is a threaded comp, which of course means it is also a threaded barrel. But yeah, <laughs> check that out. You could barely tell that there's a seam. It's hard to tell where the barrel 
ends and this compensator begins. So seven and a half inch barrel uh, with the comp. The barrel comes with a thread protector as well. So if you just want to run, uh, you want to run it just with a thread protector, you can do that as well. With the thread protector, you can see the seam a lot more readily because the uh, uh, thread protector is, is beveled a little bit. But I prefer to run the comp. Anyway, let's put the, the comp back on. Just a personal preference. I mean, uh, the 22 doesn't recoil much anyway, but the comp does still help a little bit. Uh, and I'm fumbling here. Hang on. And through the magic of editing, you, you didn't have to sit through my fumbling, got the comp back on there. Now, another neat thing is that it is, the Volkortzen barrel is drilled and tapped for that front sight. So if you wanted to, you could remove the factory front sight and install it on the Volkortzen barrel. For the optic, I went with the Vortex Venom. The rail is the stock plastic rail that, that came with the Victory. You can buy an aluminum rail, but I mean, you know, it, it's in 22. I don't think the recall from a 22 is going to uh, stress out <laughs> this plastic rail or cause it to flex or anything. Maybe in the future I'll spring for the aluminum rail, but for now, I use the plastic rail and it's worked good enough. Uh, the trigger is a tandem cross trigger. Now keep in mind it is only the trigger, okay? Uh, some, sometimes when you buy a trigger kit, it'll come with some internals you have to replace as well, but the internals of this gun are all stock. So the, the internal hammer is stock, the sear is stock, okay? The lock work, so to speak, is all stock. The only thing I replaced was the, as far as the trigger goes and the trigger mechanism, it's just the trigger. But as you can see, the tandem cross trigger has two adjustment screws, all right, here and here. And that allows you to fine tune both, uh, both the pre-travel and post-travel. So if you're a trigger snob like me, you're gonna be in trigger snob heaven, okay? You can spend all day you know, fooling with, you know, the different uh, amounts of adjustment here. You know, if you really wanted to, uh, and I'm not telling you how to set up your trigger, but, man, you can get this trigger to, it, to where <laughs> it moves like it was a mouse click. You know, you can have, with enough fine-tuning and adjustment, well, you can get that trigger to, it, to where it just barely moves. Okay, and lastly, I decided, hey, you know what? Might as well put on some nice fancy grips on here. These are Altamont grips. I believe this is the, uh, they call it Super Rosewood, I believe. Uh, it's a rosewood laminate with the Smith & Wesson medallions on both sides. Good checkering and some nice little uh, floral designs on here. They are a tad bit, I mean just a tad bit um, slimmer than the stock grips. Uh, not much of a difference to me as far as comfort, but I did notice that with these grips, the, uh, it was overall just a little, just a little bit slimmer than, uh, than stock. Another neat thing about this gun, uh, oh, and this is a stock thing as well. This is not, not, not anything I modified. The, uh, ejection is, uh, spring-loaded. There's a little spring-loaded tab in there, which helps to really kick out the mag. Usually the the mags will kick out with slightly less force when the when the bolt or slide is locked back, but with that spring assist, man, it just really kicks them out of there. Now with all these highfalutin upgrades on the gun, it's only right and proper to take it to the range and do some accuracy testing. Now ideally, I'd like to test this out with you know something like federal. You know, federal gold medal or gold match or uh, 
our CCI green tag. Unfortunately, because the uh, you know the pandemic thing is still going on uh, here in the latter stages of 2020, ammunition is kind of weird to find. So I'm gonna have to test it with ammunition I have on hand. So I'll be testing it with CCI Mini Mag. This is the 40 grain version with the copper plated round nose. Uh, got some of this Norma. Norma USA TAC-22. Uh, because of the picture on the box, it looks like this is best used for rifles. But we'll see how it does in this handgun. And finally, got some Federal Auto Match. Uh, oh, well, the Normas are also another 40 grain bullet, but this is lead nose. And Auto Match... Uh, 40 grain bullet as well. Uh, I believe these are these are lead nose. I don't think these are copper, but let's let's find out. It's been a while since I shot these. Yep, it's a, it's a lead round nose. Okay, so it's gonna be all 40 grainers. Two two lead nosed and one copper plated round nose. Alrighty, for the accuracy testing, I'm here at the 50 yard pistol lane. I'll be shooting off of this rest here. It is unfortunately a breezy and uh, gusty day out here. Uh, so that, that's probably gonna have some effect on the test. Um, obviously I'm going to try to uh, take the shots in between the gusts, but uh, you know, <laughs> once you pull that trigger, well, Sometimes a, uh, you know, a gust can come by and throw off your results. So I will redo this test in the future, but just keep in mind that for, for this test today, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm facing a breezy and gusty day. First up will be Federal Auto Match. This is a 40 grain lead round nose. All right, here's the target for the federal auto match. I'm going to I'm going to put a white piece of paper behind it to give me a little better contrast here. These holes are kind of small. I mean, they're they're 0.22 inches. Okay, Federal Auto Match looks like it got 0.927 inches at 50 yards. Next up, CCI Mini Mag, 40 grain copper plated round nose. All right, here's the target for the Mini Mag. Coming in at 1.282 inches at 50 yards. And finally, Norma USA TAC-22 40 grain lead round nose. Here's the target for the Norma TAC-22. One point two two six inches at fifty yards. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the way this uh, Smith and Wesson Victory turned out with all the different mods I put on it. The performance was pretty good. Just to reiterate, in today's testing at fifty yards, Federal Auto Match turned in a group that was point nine two seven inches. Next best was Norma USA Tech 22 with 1.226 inches. And third was CCI Mini Mag with 1.282 inches. So with Auto Match, I'm getting under an inch group at uh, 50 yards. I'm, I'm definitely happy with that. Obviously, 
to get the most performance out of this Volkhorsten barrel, I'm going to need to get my hands on a federal gold medal or CCI green tag or something like that. And when I do get my hands on, you know, the good stuff, <laughs> of course, I'll do a retest video. But for now, this is pretty much a wrap. Thanks for watching, as always. And if you liked this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. Share this video with your friends. All right, you take care out there. Catch you next time.